desperate to avoid defeat, Titan Shang Tsung had stolen me from my timeline to set me against Liu Kang. He assumed a Viltrumite would shift combat in his favor. Shang Tsung was right, of course, but he was blinded by ambition and failed to consider that my only true loyalty is to the Viltrum Empire. In my home timeline, my mission to pacify Earth for Viltrum had been left incomplete. I thought I could redeem myself by delivering this new timeline. New realms, new species, all ours for the taking. For a few years, annexing realms satisfied the Empire's hunger for conquest. But my people have excellent memory. I knew sooner or later we would return to our own timeline, to Earth, to finish my original mission. <sighs> I only hope my son has had time enough to prepare. Though Ermac had freed me from my Leichen cell, I found myself no less imprisoned. I had no allies, no benefactor, and no obvious path back to power. And power is what I crave. But why should I settle for the scant abilities of someone who is an underling sorcerer? I should be the one who controls history who bends people and events to my whim. I should control the hourglass and wield it as the keeper of time. While I search the realms for the hourglass, I further master the dark magic needed to destroy Liu Kang. My quest may take a lifetime, but it will be worth it. For when I succeed, I will achieve omnipotence. Project Starfish? Project Butterfly? Crazy Town. Both of them. But neither was as fucked up as Project Magician. I was way over my head with Eclipse. I mean, the dude's a goddamn god. Somehow, though, I got his back to the wall. Freaked him out so bad, he cast a spell that sent me here. I guess he thought sending me here would finish me? But I tell you, I feel like I've come home. This place needs peace. Bad. And like me, folks here will do whatever it takes to get it. So bring on Xiao, Reiko, and those dickhead sorcerers. I'll drop them all first chance I get. For a moment, Jared took control. We fixed the damage which had allowed him, and reimposed our collective will. But the damage went further than we thought. Without Quan Chi's aid, the spell which birthed us would fail. All of our souls would die. We freed the sorcerer from captivity. But after healing us, he betrayed us. He schemed to make us his slave once again. Combat was fierce. Yet, we persisted, finding strength in the unique abilities of our collective souls. Now we must decide our future path. Reconciling our desires will be difficult, but reconcile them we must. If not, we will be consumed by civil war.
How many times have I saved them? I give and give and give, but no, I laser a few measly innocent bystanders, and suddenly they're all, what have you done for me lately? I guess they forgot there's only one true justice in this world. Me. But of course, that was before things got weird. Gotta admit, a portal from another dimension opening up and demons pouring out wasn't how I thought Tuesday was gonna go. But then again, that multiverse crap is all the rage lately. So who knows? And the same ungrateful crybabies who whined about me lasering a few dozen nobodies, now they beg me to save them. So I save the world again. I mean, it's my world. Can't let a bunch of demons disrespect me. After I finish them off, their portal or whatever was still open. Which could only mean one thing. Sequel! <laughs> I went in the damn Chloe hole. And what did I discover? Another realm with a tournament where gods and monsters fight to the death. It was like Vauntland, but just for me. Honestly, I, I only wish I had known about this place sooner, because I've had the time of my life. To kill a snake, you cut off its head. Or in the Yakuza's case, its heads. Kenji said I couldn't do it, but he didn't know what I knew that the family's bosses were meeting to talk shop and settle disputes. In one fell swoop, I could decapitate them all. As they nursed whiskey and negotiated, I waited. My moment came, then was cut short, when a fiery portal opened. Out of it stepped men I'd never seen before. And from the boss's low bows and averted eyes, I could tell they were the ones really in charge. Listening in, I learned they run the Red Dragon, an ancient clan secretly behind all of Earthrealm's crime families. I could crush the Yakuza, but these Red Dragon would simply replace it, probably with something even worse. I'm facing a powerful new enemy in my war on the underworld, one I never saw coming. And I've got to finish them, or die trying. Don't forget to subscribe!